Hello guys, and welcome to my very first video. Today I will be showing you how to make this cute little dragon here. And in this video I'll be showing you specifically how to make these wings. I'll be making other videos as how to make the body and how to do finishing little touches. So, let's get started. You will need one rainbow loom or any other loom in this configuration. And you will need 39 black rubber bands and 65 green. So, you must use double bands during this part. And you will take your first pair of bands and put them on these two pegs right here. Then you will do your next two bands on the peg above that one. And then just keep following my instructions and you should be fine. Okay, now for the next part, you will be going down the middle. And then... And now for the last line of the loom. One, two, three. And one more, five. Okay, and now we're going to do these little black sections in the middle right here. So first we'll be doing them in the middle right between these two rows basically a single just connecting the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and at the end, you're going to put a cap band right here. And now it is time to loop them up. So you go into the cap band, grab the black band underneath it and then pull it to the peg. And then you do this with the second one, taking this band, and then pulling it to this peg. And then you basically just keep doing this until you get all the way up.
There. And now be sure to push that down before you do anything else. Okay. Now it is time to loop the first row of green bands right here, and then this band right here too. So you go underneath the black cat band, grab the two green bands, and then pull them up to the next peg, like that. And then you go underneath all these bands, grab the bottom two green bands, and then pull them up. And then do the same thing for this one. And this one, until you get to the top. And then you go and take this green band and then pull it very carefully, you don't want your bands to rip, to this peg right here. And now it is time to do the second part of the black bands in between this row, this part of the dragon. So you take one band from this peg to that peg. Take another band, this peg to that peg. And you keep zigzagging pretty much until you get to the bottom. Four, five. Six, seven, and then like the other row, you take this band, put it at the very end as a cat band. And now it is time to loop this row of the black. So you take your hook, go underneath the cat band, grab the black band, and then pull it over to this part. And then you take this black band, pull it to that part. And then you keep going underneath to grab the black band. And then just keep going for this whole row. like that. And now you're to push all these black, this black row down as far as you can. And now it is time to loop the second row of the green bands. So you go underneath all of these black bands, grab the bottom two green bands, and then pull them up. And then you do this with the next part, bottom two green bands, pull them up, bottom two, pull them up, bottom two, pull them up, and then go underneath all of these bands, again grab the bottom two green bands, and then pull them very carefully Okay, sorry about that last bit. Um, so you go down into this band, underneath these bands, grab the bottom two, and then carefully pull it to this peg. Now for the tricky part. You have to go under here and grab, whoop, grab the bottom two bands, but it's not any of these bands, it's this one these two right here. So you go underneath, and this might take a bit of practice,
grab these two, pull very gently, and then loop it there. Take the next two, go underneath all the bands, grab those two, and then pull them here. And then you do it one more time. Grab these bands, these two bands on the bottom, pull them through. You might do have to do it one at a time, by the way. Grab the other one, and then pull it there. Okay, now you're going to take two rubber bands. Go underneath all of these. Take the two rubber bands. And then pull them through all these other ones. And then you pull the wing off your loom. Then you just pull on it a little bit, make it look better. And then you got one wing. And now you take your safety pin, open it up a little bit, and then just put the wing on the safety pin. Now it's time to do the other wing. Okay, so it's basically the wing that we just did, but reversed. So, you reverse the wing, pretty much. So, you take the first two rubber bands, and then put them right here. Take the next two rubber bands, and put them above those. Now it's time to go downward in the second row.
Okay, now it's time to do the section in between the wings once again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you add a cat, cat band. Now it's time to loop these. So you go underneath the cat band, grab the bottom black band, and then pull it over here. Take the bottom black band, pull it here. And then just keep going up. It's like a, it's like a single bracelet. Okay, done with that, and then be sure to push it down. Now it is time to loop the green bands on the right side. So you go underneath the black cat band, take the bottom two greens, and then pull them up to the peg above it. Take the bottom two greens, pull them up. And then just keep going until you get to the top. And then you take these two bottom greens and then you pull them to this peg. Okay, now it is time to do the second part of the blacks. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, and eight is the cat band. And then you go underneath the cat band, take the top black rubber band, and then pull it to the side. And then take the black band, pull it to the side. Black band, pull it. And then you just keep going until you get done with this one. And now you take the middle row and we're going to loop the middle row. So you get underneath all these blacks, get the bottom two greens, and pull them up. Underneath all the blacks, bottom two green, pull them up. Keep going up like this. And then you take the bottom two greens here and then pull them to the side. Very carefully, you don't want to break your bands here. Okay, now time to go downwards. And this is the tricky part. 
take the bottom two bands, remember this rubber band, pull them around the peg, this might take a bit, oh, oh gosh. Okay, so I, fin okay. I fixed up that last band that snapped, and you basically pull down as usual. Now you take the next two bands on the bottom, and then pull those through and down. And again, you might need to do this one at a time. One. And two. And then you take the last two bands right here. Go under, take the two bands, pull them through. And be very careful, always remember to be careful. Now, you're ready to finish up your second win. So you take two green rubber bands, go underneath all the other rubber bands here, put them on your hook, and then pull them through. And now you can pull the second wing off your balloon. Loom broke. Oh well. Fix it up a little bit. Pull on it. Make it look better. And now you have your second wing. And you can put it on your safety pin with the other one. So you open your pin. And then just thread it through. four loops right here. Close the pin and then pull that off your hook. And that is how you make your wings. And the next part of the video will be up on how to make the body of the dragon. So that's all for now. Hey guys, Bye. I'm back ready to make the second part of the tutorial on how to make a dragon. And this part of the tutorial, we will be making the body. But before we need to do anything, we need to thread the beads through the rubber bands so we can make the eyes on the dragon. So I will show you a nice easy way to do that. You're going to need a piece of wire and the rubber bands you want to thread the beads on. So you take one rubber band Take the wire, wrap it around itself like this. Take your bead, thread it onto the wire, and then it will go across the wire onto the rubber bands like that. And then you untwist the wire, and then you have your bead on your rubber band. So I'll do this once again. Take your rubber band and your wire, wrap the wire around itself, around the rubber band. Take your bead. Thread it onto the wire and then through the rubber band. And then we have our two rubber bands with the eyes on them. And your dragon will still look okay without eyes. I mean, I have this one right here without eyes. Just won't have eyes, but it still looks fine. Now it's time to lay out the bands on our loom. 
So you're going to start at the bottom. Sorry about that. You're going to start at the bottom. Put two bands from here to here. And then just follow. Oh wait, I messed up. This is the area where you will add your eyes. So you put one rubber band down first, and then you put the other one with the eye on it down like a regular rubber band, like that. And then you do the same thing for the other side. Put the one down, and then put the one with the eye on. Okay, and now it's time to do the rest of the body. Remember to use double bands for this part. Okay, now we're ending the head right here. And then for this next part, you're going to use three bands, not just two, but three. Three bands. And then you take them and put them from here to here. And then for the rest, you use double bands like normal. Now I'm going to do the torso. Go down and now it's time to do the middle of the torso. Now the last part of the torso. Okay, now we're going to add the bands that connect the whole body to itself. So you're going to take one band, go to the bottom, go to these two pegs right here, and you're going to make a cap band. And then spread it between these two pegs. Then you're going to repeat that two more times. You can also do it like this. Once more. And now for the torso connector bands. These are a lot simpler. You don't have to double loop them. Go from these pegs, these pegs, but the top one you do have to double loop. And then the last band, 
take this band, put it at the very top, and then you loop it three times. Three. One, two, three. There. Now you have to make the arms to attach to the body. Now there's a good way that I like to do this, is to just use my hook. So you take two black bands, double loop them onto your hook, like so. Then take two white bands, pull all the black bands onto the white bands, and then grab the other end. And then repeat this two more times. You have your leg or arm. And now you put this one on this peg right here. Like that. Now you have to do the three rest of the legs. So you take your two black bands, double loop them. and then loop on three pairs of white bands. Got this leg now. And then you put this leg and the peg right here. And then you repeat this two more times. And then you flip your loom over and then put it across one of your other legs. Like that. And then put the last one here. And now it is time to start looping the body. Wait, no. Gotta add the wings first. Almost forgot the most important part. So you take one wing, your wings off your safety pin. And you gotta make sure that you put them in the right spot. Gotta have them facing like this, not like that. If you do it like that, then your wings are gonna be upside down on your dragon. And that won't be fun. So you take your wings, make sure this little part is out, like the puffy outy part. And then you put it right on this peg here. Like that.
that. And then you take your other wing. And then put it on the peg across from the other one. Like that. And then, now I'm pretty certain you start looping the dragon. So you go underneath your cap band here. Remember, you looped it three times, so that's three loops that you go under. Grab the top two bands and then pull it over that side. Then you go underneath all these other bands, grab the bottom two bands, and then pull them up. Go to the very bottom, grab the bottom two bands, and then pull them up. Go underneath all the other bands, grab the bottom two, and then pull them up. And then you pull these bands to the center. Now you do the next row. Go underneath three loops, grab the top two bands, Sorry, I did this one at a time this time. And then pull them up like that. Grab these two bands here. Pull them up like that. These two bands. Pull them up. And then these two. Pull them up. And now you do the last row. Go underneath the three loops bottom two bands, pull them to the side, underneath all the other bands, eh. grab the bottom two, pull them up, get the bottom two, pull them up, bottom two, or one at a time, if you're like me. Pull them up. And then get these two. And pull them this way, into the center. Now you grab the bottom three. Remember, these are the three bands that you put here. Grr. This might be a little bit tricky. bottom three, and then pull them to the side like that. Now you're going to just loop the head. Get these top two bands, pull them to the side, get these two bands here, pull them up, these two bands here, pull them up, these two, these two, and then keep going till you get to the top of the head. And just ignore the beads. I'm not going to get in the way or anything. And then go in here, and then pull that there. And you've basically completed your body now. So you go to the top, top peg here, go underneath all the other bands, take one band, pull it through these other bands, and then put it together on your hook like that. And then you just pull the dragon off. Stretch them out a little bit. Make sure the eyes are in the right place. I'm 
Okay, now this is definitely not the finished product, obviously. So, in the next part of the video, I will be showing you how to add the finishing touches. Like horns, wing tips, tail, stuff like that. So, see you hey next guys. time. I'm back for the third part of how to make a dragon. And for this part, you won't really need your loom, so you can just set it aside. And we left off where your dragon is still on the hook. So you're going to take the bottom band of the two bands, pull it over the hook, and then just pull on the remaining one, like that. And then it makes a nice little loop. But before we do anything else, you're going to have to want to slide these eyes onto the other side of the dragon. So you're going to pull, push a little black bead onto the other side, like that. And then you're going to do the same with the other one. Now, you're going to loop this white band, take this white band, pull it over the head like that, and then it makes a little cute little head. And now you're going to see the eyes, and then you're going to see the little V's behind it. Now you're going to want to loop into this outer V right here. And then this is where you'll put on your horns. So you take two black bands and then pull it through the little white part. And then you take one more black band, just one this time, put it on your hook, and then pull it through. And now you take your C-clip. You're going to need five C-clips to finish up your dragon, by the way. And then put it in, and then pull it off your hook. And then you have one horn down. Now for the other part of the horns. So you're going to go into this V. Go into the outer part of it. Loop on two black rubber bands. Then one, and then you're going to put on your C-clip, then pull it off. Now you got his little horns. Now the next part is you're going to want to secure these wings more because right now they're just hanging off his sides and you don't want that. So you're going to go into your wing and then you're going to count. One V, two Vs, three Vs, four Vs. And on the fourth one, you're going to want to go inside and then get the whole side of the V like this. So there should be four loops on your hook. You're going to loop on one white rubber band, pull it through like that, and then you're going to want to put it on the little dragon's arm. Like that, like a bracelet, but pull it back farther. Like that. And then you're going to do the same with the other side. One V, two Vs, three Vs, four Vs. On the fourth one, go inside, get the whole side of the V, like that. Pull a white band through. And then put it over his little arm.
then you're going to want to puff out his wings more. And now, you're going to want to add the, probably the most important part to make him recognizable as a dragon, the tail. So you're going to take the triple loop band that you put on earlier, put your hook through it, take two white rubber bands, pull them through the loop, take two more white rubber bands, pull them through, Two more. Two more. And then I'd like to finish the tail with a black rubber band because it just sort of finishes it nicely. So pull one black rubber band through. Take a C clip and then clip it and then take it off your hook, like that. Now to add the wing tips. So you're going to count again. So this part was four, five, six, seven. Go up to the seventh, take all of those right there, loop on two black rubber bands, pull through, and then Take your C-clip, and then clip it. And then take it off. And then do the same with the other side. So this is four, five, six, seven. So you go in to the seventh loop right here. Take two black rubber bands, pull them through, take your C-clip, and then clip it, and then pull it off your hook. Okay, now I believe the last thing you're going to want to do is to make your dragon be able to like sit up. So, I'm going to take one white rubber band. You're going to go into the head of the dragon. Find two loops, it doesn't matter which ones, just as long as they're the two loops that we use to hold the head together. So I'm going to use these two right here. Take your white rubber band, pull it through. Pull the bottom loop over the hook, like that, and then pull it over the tail and the legs, like that. <laughs> Gotta pull the tail out, whoops. No. You fix them up a little bit. Just got to tug on them a little bit. And then you got your cute little rainbow loom dragon. He can sit and crawl. And that's it. So enjoy. Bye.